Hey guys, welcome to another video. You may be able to tell that I'm slightly sick still, but I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't not film this video because I've been wanting to for a while, and so here it is with my raspy, deeper voice as well. So, today I wanted to talk about my tiny house, and not too long ago I realized that it's been about two years since the build finished. Um, the build started two years before that and preparation and planning a year before that. So it's been about five years since this has been around, I guess. But it's been two years since it's been really done, I would say. Um, there's aspects of it that are not finished. I can't hook up water where I'm where it's currently parked so there's no water coming to it and I don't have the composting toilet of course because if I don't have water I wouldn't want a toilet either um, but needless to say I do spend time in here in the beginning I spent a lot of time in my tiny house and now not because I don't want to just you know situations in life I don't spend as much time in here as I would like to I guess so I wanted to take this opportunity to share with you, I guess, the mindset that I started this with and kind of where I'm at now. Um, I made a video, I don't know how long ago, maybe about half a year ago, saying why people should not build tiny houses. And I got a lot of criticism because of that. And I think what I didn't really communicate very well was that this was my experience this is why I was doing it. That's all that video was. Um, that's the only reason I made the video was to share my experience. And by no means am I trying to downplay the significance of the tiny house movement and what it's accomplishing and allowing people of lower income to create a space, a home for themselves. It's really cool to see the tiny house movement grow into what it was really designed to to be. That being said, I did not exactly have that same reason as to why I wanted to build this tiny house. I was 17, 16 when I started planning um, and 17 when I started building this house and my reason was that I wanted a space for myself. I wanted to um, really have the experience of building a home and my intention was to bring it with me to college and to save money on room and board and many of you guys have watched my journey and know that I didn't go to college and this whole process changed um, me and what I wanted and you know the life that I have since created for myself and so still addressing that video I think I made some generalizations that really weren't necessary, I guess, saying that, um, you know, tiny houses aren't really practical and you can't move them very much. I think to a certain extent I did understand that when I started building. Um, I think it's one of those things sometimes that when you research you're like, yeah, but you can, you know, you could do it. and. I could still travel with my tiny house around the US and you do see some people doing it but for me it has been parked in the same place that it was built and it could you know move to another piece of property no problem and that would <clears throat> that would be super great and awesome but um, I guess all I'm trying to say which I'm not even sure I'm communicating very well in this video so I hope I'm communicating it better. It's just that the tiny house movement as a whole is accomplishing amazing things. The Most of the videos I watched prior to building this house were giving me a unrealistic expectation as to my ability to travel with a tiny house. And, you know, people attacked me for not uh, researching enough, which is totally fair, and um, I'll take responsibility for that, but 
I, w I don't regret my decision to build a tiny house because of all the things that it has attracted into my life, all the other opportunities I've been been given, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that, I guess. Um, and as for now, two years since I built it, and I still love every minute that I get to spend in this house. It's a really incredible feeling, which unless you've built a tiny house, or I guess you could compare it to maybe building a business, sort of, or accomplishing some type of project, but for some reason building a house seems more significant because it's a home. You built a home for yourself that you then reside in, that you then live in, you get to spend your time in. And I think a lot of people don't get that opportunity. I just love every minute that I get to spend in here because it's like instant inspiration for myself. It's like I built this, you know? And in other videos I've talked about how this house is like a trigger. So whenever I come in here and I spend a little bit of time, I'm like automatically more productive, more motivated, more just inspired and empowered to go and do what I ultimately want to do. Where in other spaces, like other houses, I don't feel the same. Um, and you might relate to that to your own home because that's very relatable, but I think I also feel it when I'm outside, just like spending time in nature, but when I am here, I feel most motivated and at home and really present with myself and what I want to accomplish every day, every week, every year. One other thing I want to touch on is that while a tiny house is still super awesome and I love that I created this space it's still a thing and being a minimalist I downsized or I guess didn't acquire things while I was building this tiny house and so I really haven't acquired a lot of things and for that I'm really grateful but also the space itself um, the thing the tiny house is you know, part of me now. And so it's this very large thing that I have in my life that to some degree feels as though it's holding me here where I am living right now. And I think that's kind of counter to the intentions I had when I built it. I really wanted, you know, first it was to bring with me to college, but that kind of developed into this idea to travel or to, you know, move it part way across country and then live there for a year. And I still can do that, but there's a lot of, of planning involved and to me it, it doesn't seem as worth it as I thought, as I thought it would when I started to build, if that makes sense. In terms of like my aesthetic decisions, I'm pretty happy with almost everything. The shower I still need to work on and those of you who followed from the very beginning know that there's been a few issues with it but I do need to fix it. But in terms of like this space, I'm so happy. Um, my loft is just amazing. I love my um, living room, my kitchen area, um, my clothing, my little bit of storage. Everything really fits my needs pretty perfectly and the finishing touches you can see of that dark um, brown and the white and then the wood everywhere else, the white ceiling. It's just a lot of things that I'm really happy with. And there's a squirrel on the roof. So if you want to learn more about my build, I'll leave links below. I think that's it. I did want to mention that I have the intention to sell this tiny house in the next two years, and I plan to make a video on it to explain my reasons why and just really understanding, I guess, my mission and what I'm trying to accomplish in life in general and why I would sell this beautiful thing I just created, you know, five years ago. So, 
that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions, you can leave them below, and I will see you super, super soon. Bye. Life is wonderful. Life can be this